next shower gel. We're back on what's going on. I'm your host, Colin Job. We've got a really good show for you tonight. We've got uh, Timothy Barlow. Timothy's a perspective coach, columnist with the Vaughn Citizen. And I've been having a really, really lively discussion so far. Uh, Timothy, we're talking about we're talking about fear, accountability, all the, all the good stuff. And uh, <laughs> all, the good stuff. all the good stuff. <laughs> all the good stuff. And um, you know, let's talk about your website for a minute. I, it's called madtoglad.com. Mad to glad. And uh, I remember when I was looking at it, I was like, Mad to glad. Like, where did this? Where did he come up with this? So what, what's? Can you tell us what that's all about? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I started thinking about, you know, how I could be in service to people and, and branding myself. I was originally perspective coach, you know, dot com, and then I thought, you know, I want to more branch out and get more into facilitation and group work and everything. And then I thought. What's the real issue with people? And, and the more I looked around, uh, reading the paper and watching people or listen, talking in elevators, there's a lot of angry people in the world. <laughs> you know, like, we're just, we're really mad. And where, where does this anger come from? Fear. Fear. There's, so fear manifests it. itself in, in, yeah. into anger. Now a lot of people would challenge that in exactly. the beginning. They're, they're, they're going to be like, well, what, what do you say? Yeah, exactly. like, I got mad? I'm not, I'm not afraid. I'm mad. <laughs> well, you're probably afraid of an end result or you're afraid of being exposed, or you're afraid of, you know, there's, there's a lot of fears there. And I have yet to ever work with myself or anybody else where when we take the time to actually break down the components, you'll land at fear. I mean, there, there, there are two emotions, fear and love. So That's it? That's it. I mean, everything else but, is a manifestation. There are extensions, right, right, they're byproducts. Right, okay. okay, but the bottom line, th those two When you the boil core, it down to, that is the yin and the yang. Okay, so, so fear. The alpha and Omega. The Alpha and Omega. <laughs> okay, fear and love. And when we talk about love, are we talking love of family? Well, it's funny because in, in North America, we only say one word. You right. know, like we'll say, like, oh, I, I love this woman. And yeah. then, oh, I love that movie. Oh, I right. love, I love exactly. this chicken. You know, like. <laughs> whereas in other cultures, you'll yeah. look, you know, uh, the Greeks have a number of different words, phila and, and uh, agape, and, and they, they actually break down and. and 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 uh, more articulate, or, okay, or so more, more to expand on it. Right. So feel is more brotherly love. That's right. the love I oh, feel okay. for, like you know, you and so me. It, right. It, like, it, it describes a particular. But it's a different love than I would have for my child. Right. Or that I would have for uh, a romantic love. All right. Or chicken. Right. right. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with loving chicken. <laughs> I love chicken. Hey, you're not alone. You're not alone. <laughs> and uh, so with that, you, I guess you decided. Because it's a very that's, that's so different. Right. It's so, so different. So my 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 I wanted something that sticks. I yeah. wanted something catchy, of course, something short because my other one is so long and I'd have to spell it out. But I wanted mad to glad and essentially that once people identify the fear, which is the mad, and right. once you once you you know start to uh, uh, reduce fears and acknowledge them and, and and release them and eliminate them, then what's left over the space that that fear occupied. Love comes in. So wow. fear shrinks our world, love expands it. Love expands our and world. And so a lot of people try to, well, they say, well, then I just need to choose more love. I just right. need to do more love. love. love and it's love. like, but again, if, if fear is in the way, you know, there, there's this constant battle. Whereas if you just acknowledge the fear, see the fear, go through the fear, not around it, then when see, it's gone, uh, that space now, potentially well, you could be filled by another fear, right. but a lot of the times right. it's, it's, it's filled so you're saying you're saying don't because the interesting point you just mentioned, don't go around it. Because yeah. a lot of times, a lot of times we're actually told, right. you know, just yeah, just tiptoe around just, it and get on to the la, next la, thing. La, 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 la. Exactly. <laughs> right, right, so you're saying you're right. saying hey, tackle it head drink on. Drink it, smoke it, toke it. You know, right? <laughs> right? You're just, I hear you. Whatever you gotta do, <laughs> just, just don't face it. <laughs> exactly. So you're saying tackle it head on. Just go through it. And and really, when people are thinking of, uh, about things like this, and they think, oh, I just gotta build up the courage, and I just have to, you know, right. What they don't realize is, I don't want to sound preachy, but well, you know, what we don't realize is, is, is that courage is not something that you muster up first. It is a byproduct okay, okay. of going through the fear. It's when we squirt out the other so just, side, we are more courageous. Right. A fireman goes into a fire, not because he's not afraid and we are. He's afraid. He does it anyway. He overrides it. He, he focuses right. on what he wants to do, not 
what he's afraid and, okay, to do, and, so. and, and then comes out, and then firemen become more you know, right. courageous. So, so in other words, to achieve what we want to achieve, we have to actually do the things that we don't want to do that well, are You don't yeah, have to. We, we step out of our comfort, we have to step out of our comfort zone in order to. And again, when I look at little things like language, right. you know, I don't know about you, but I don't like being told what to do. I just don't. Never have. Oh, I enjoy it. So, yeah. <laughs> well, there are some people who actually do. They like to go to work and be told exactly what to do, but I don't. So when I use words like have to, then I go, you know what I mean? That's right, resonating right, right. with that unconscious. The 90% right. is going, like, I'm Ooh. not interested in that, right? But if I say I choose to, I want to, I'd like to. Right. It's semantics and people go, it can't be that easy. Right, exactly. It can with consistent effort. effort. That we actually can re literally reprogram ourselves. And people used to laugh. They'd say, like, what do you do? You brainwash people? Yeah. I used to say no. Now? I say yeah. <laughs> because because <laughs> so some of their brains are like caked on with a lot of nonsense. You know right, what I mean? So we've got to scrub it. But I don't do it. I mean, yeah, I need to like, get them to scrub it. We've got to rid ourselves of Right, up. right. And, and, and we, you know, we, we heart wash. Too, you know, it's not just so it's, it's you know, a, good, a good cleansing, it's, right? It's and and from that cleansing comes clarity and peace. And I think at the end of the day, when I say mad to glad, is because we want to be glad. We want to once fear is out of the way and we're looking at what we're losing or what what's happening right. to us, we actually begin to appreciate things, and then that appreciation turns into gratitude. So things change. And things. when when I'm grateful for life, then I'm glad. I'm happy. So I'm, the, ang I'm, the anger is is gone. It's all good. You know what I mean? Like I it just, and that's and that's when you start to realize that even something that's traumatic in my life, I can learn from it. And when I do, that's where peace comes from. That's when when something it turns in from trash to treasure. Trash to treasure, like that. Interesting, right. very interesting. You know, and it's funny you mentioned a few minutes ago about our emotions and, and the role that they play in our development. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I. I, I was referring, I kept only thinking 90%. Only 90%. Yeah. Only 90%. <laughs> yeah, let's focus let's on that. Let's not get confused. Yeah, okay, let's, let's focus on the 10%. Positive thinking. Let's, let's focus on the 10%. <laughs> a few years ago, I read a book called Emotional Intelligence. Mm -hmm. And I'd heard about the concept. Mm -hmm. And I heard about, when I initially heard about it, that the, how people who can manage their emotions look at the world differently. Mm -hmm. And they achieve a lot more than those who mismanage their emotions right. and just, just uh, appeal to their emotions alone. Right. Their whole thought process changes and things go. And we face our emotions. Face them. It's and not, you know, it's funny. When I was in my 20s, I wouldn't trust a guy who cried. I'm like, no? I don't know. The loser. The like, loser. Ah, yeah. So write him off. <laughs> now that I'm in my 40s, yeah. I don't trust a guy who doesn't. Oh, really? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it just, you know, like, it, it's not natural. Right, right. You know, it, it's a. Uh, well, it, it's it's a natural cleansing. It's 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 it, it's a process. We're supposed yeah. to. That's like saying, well, I don't want rain in my life. Well, right. that may be all good, but if but it never rains, we're wrong. not going to last. Wrong. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like this. Yeah. Planet well, I, dies. Yeah. Well, I think I think the thing in terms of crying is is it's it's important. Just don't do it at, at major intersections, right? Well, yeah. So all of a sudden yeah, your yeah, image yeah, is shot. Right. Exactly. <laughs> right. Well, or is it? You know what I mean? And and again, when you look and you say, you know, when we were younger, that's true. But when we're older, I don't think that's true at all. I think that when we're in a group of 40 or 50 or 60 right. year olds, when we display real emotion, that brings us closer to them, not repels them. Yeah, but them. we never see that though. We were, how, how often do you see that? Like, well, in my had, world, a dinner. lot. Really? Yeah. So if you had a dinner party and you're talking about something and your buddies are there and you're like, you know what? It happens all the time. I'll, let's put let's put down those wings. We I'm, just I'm, start I'm talking just, and, just and then emotion start, comes yeah. out. Really? Yeah, we don't apologize for it anymore. I mean, it's actually a good thing. And sometimes emotion comes out not from a sad event, but from a happy one. Really? You know, like, so, so, it's when, so let's, let's when everybody says, I, okay. want to, I want to try to be happy, you know? I go, why are you sitting in a bar so low? Why how about, so how about low? joy? You ever, you know, joy, when you feel joy, tears come from that, you know, and that, that's a release of a whole new nature. What about bliss? It's funny, uh, a year ago, I looked up the word bliss in the dictionary. Right. Perfect joy. How cool is that? You know what I mean? So yeah, that's, that's where I'm going for now. I mean. But how often does that happen though, Tim? As often as you choose, I guess. I mean, if, if you're, but again, if you're going for it for an end result, I mean, this is the difference. If you try to be happy, really what most people distinguish the difference between happy and pleasure. I buy a new car, it makes me happy. Right. No, it gave you pleasure, okay? Joy. Yeah, yeah. 
Joy is something that happens at childbirth, for example, when you're present, you know, at the birth of a child, or when you see, you know, nature or something happen. Right. Like you are overcome with joy, and I'll tell you that two seconds before that happened, you weren't looking for it. It just can't, you know. It's just one of those things. But that's from a, a number of other choices that led me to that moment, and I am ready to accept it. That's when preparation meets opportunity. Interesting. Very, very. That's very, very uh, informative because. You actually, you are, it's funny, you're a perspective coach, and you, as, as you listen, actually, my perspective is widening. How much? Okay. <laughs> I'll give you the first one for free. Uh, uh, I thought this was the first one. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, can I get a second one for free as well? We'll talk. Okay. <laughs> I got to make a living. <laughs> no, but it, it, it's, it's funny, though, because it's, it's, a lot of times we don't, we're not aware of these things as we go along. We're just tagging along. Right. And what you're saying is to stop and take Wake a look. Up. Take Wake a look at the situation. Up. Most of us, you know, at the younger stages of our lives, we're basically sleepwalking. Sleepwalking. And just, it's time to wake up and, and just pay attention. Everybody keeps looking outside. Happiness is right here, right now. So it's, you don't have to cross the fence. It's not in the, the future. It's not something that went in the past. It is possible, it's possible right now. by choosing to look and, and see it with new eyes. There's a, I think it's Marcel Post or someone, I can't remember the quote exactly, but it says, um, we, you know, we, we uh, it's, uh, life, uh, it's not about discovering new oceans. Um, it's about seeing the world with new eyes. Interesting. Yeah. Very interesting. Interesting. Well, folks, we're going to take another break. We're going to be right back right here on what's going on. has never been easier to become rich by investing in real estate. Sign up now to attend the Remick Wealth Institute's next free wealth building seminar in your area. It doesn't matter if you have good credit, poor credit, or no credit. You'll learn how to invest in real estate with no money down, no income, and no credit. Call 1-888-887-3642 or visit www.remickcorp.com. 